Of all the assignments I've had as the arts writer for the Orlando Sentinel, this may have been the most challenging. They actually set me in front of a sewing machine and expected me to come up with something that was art. I've never even used a needle and thread to sew on a button, never mind a whole machine. And to make it even worse, there was going to be an audience, and not an audience of just anyone, but some of the world famous quilters from Gee's Bend, Alabama, the makers of great fine folk art that have become a tradition in hanging museums around the world. My sewing room was in the Hannibal Square Heritage Center in Winter Park, and my old sewing machine proved temperamental, but there was a healthy portion of operator error involved as well. Gee's Bend quilters, Louisiana Bendolph and Rita Mae Petway, displayed the patience of a saint as they showed me the basics of creating a hem or stitching in a straight line or just keeping the machine running. They made me feel at ease, reminding me that art doesn't have to be perfect. Well, you're making a cool. It really is about you, about what you want. And, you know, because so many times we feel like people want everything to be perfect. It don't have to be. Things don't have to be perfect to, to make a statement. And, and the quilts, the jeans band quilts are just about, to me, my quilts about being free to do what I want to do. I definitely had a lead foot on my sewing machine's pedal. I swear I'm a better driver than quilter. But I felt pretty good with what I accomplished, and Louisiana Bendoff only had to rip out one hem to give me a do-over. So this is my final piece of work. One little quilting piece. It's not enough to, of course, make a whole quilt, but it was an, a good start for a couple hours of work. And you'll notice, possibly, it's made of scraps. It's brown corduroy, it's an old red paisley shirt, it's ripped up blue jeans. That's the kind of material that the women of G's Bend would use. It's art through innovation, through improvisation, using what you have, and making something new out of it. You can see the quilts at the Hannibal Square Heritage Center and at the Creality School of Art in Winter Park through January. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm arts writer Matt Palm. Orlando setting on newspaper. Check it out, yeah. Do us the favor. Promise that you will love it later. I promise we got Central Florida flavor.